Good morning. Today we are going to talk about the third disposition to have a true devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. A great desire to love Jesus Christ ardently. The third disposition is a great desire to love Jesus Christ ardently. It is true that one cannot have a lively faith and life and innocence without at the same time being inflamed by a very ardent love for Jesus Christ or at least having an ardent desire to love him. Now it is evident that the desire of loving Jesus Christ ardently is an absolutely necessary disposition to have this devotion which is itself a continual exercise of this ardent love. Jesus Christ never gives his love except to those who earnestly desire it. The capacity of our heart is measured by the greatness of its desires. All the saints agree that the most proper disposition to love Jesus Christ tenderly is to have an ardent desire to love him. Blessed, says the Son of God, are they who hunger and thirst after justice for they shall have their fill. This is in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. It is necessary that the heart be purified by this ardent desire in order to be inflamed by the pure flames of divine love. This ardent desire not only disposes our hearts to be inflamed with the love of Jesus Christ, it induces the amiable Savior to enkindle in our hearts this sacred fire. Let us truly desire to love him, for it may be said that this desire is always efficacious and it is unheard of that Jesus Christ has ever refused his love to those who desire it. Could anything more reasonable be insisted on? Could anything easier be asked for since there is no Christian who does not at least claim to desire to love Jesus Christ? If then it is true that this desire is so proper a disposition for acquiring an ardent love for Jesus Christ, what is the reason that so few people love him ardently, although all flatter themselves that they have this disposition and although Jesus Christ is ready to give his love to those who are well disposed it is because our hearts are altogether filled with self-love what we can call desire to love Jesus Christ is in truth only a mere speculative inclination only a sterile knowledge of the obligation that we are under to love him. It is an act of the understanding and not of the will. This knowledge is common to all those who are not ignorant of the benefits for which they are indebted to him and passes today for a real desire with all those who think themselves in good conscience, provided that they have some spacious pretext for deceiving themselves. To convince ourselves that we have not a real desire to love Jesus Christ, we have only to compare this pretended desire with all the other desires that we really have. What care what eagerness people show when they have a passion and desire for something. They are altogether occupied with this desire. They think of it. They constantly speak of it. They are always busy taking measures to accomplish it. They even lose their sleep and time for eating over it. 
what similar effect has our pretended desire to love Jesus Christ produced in us? The true desire of loving Jesus Christ comes to near true love, not to have similar effects. Self-love vainly uses all its artifices to convince people of the contrary. But it will never be true that we desire to love Jesus Christ ardently as long as we love him so little. There is a great danger that these kinds of sterile desires to love Jesus Christ which we sometimes feel may be only some little sparks of a fire that is nearly extinct, or real marks of the lukewarmness in which we live. But if we have not this ardent love for Jesus Christ, let us at least once in our life make some serious reflections on the obligations which we have of loving him. And it is certain that they will give rise to at least a true desire to be inflamed with this ardent love. Let's pray for this gift of a great desire to love Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Let's pray together as a family. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may the Lord bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. See you tomorrow.